Uh, I'm here with Abel Sanchez, and of course, right behind us is GGG Gennady Golovkin. That's why we're here, to talk about the big event coming up in September. But Abel, I have to ask you about a couple other guys real quick. A fighter out of your stable was just involved in a fight in Oklahoma City that people are calling calling the fight of the year. Now, as a trainer, I would think you would not want your boxers to be in fights of the year fights. Well, not too many of them. Not too many of them where they take uh, uh, certain fighters that are uh, willing to please their fans. And Alex Acedo is one of those. Uh, like Arturo Gatti 20 years ago was made a hero by HBO and by the East Coast guys uh, because of his style. Uh, Salcedo um, uh, is that throwback to those, those kind of fighters. But I find it kind of odd that we're talking about Salcedo and not about the guy that got beat up. It's the Which, other uh, Lenny Zavavinia. Yeah. Uh, Lenny took a beating. And we're not talking about the beating that he took. We're talking about the guy that won. <laughs> um, if you look at the punch stats, the uh, uh, compu box, uh, Alex landed 50% of his power punches. I mean, they, they had to come a point in that fight if he was landing that many power punches and, and Lenny was that beat up that the referee or the corner could have said stop it. Uh, Lenny had one or 30-second, 45-second period in, fourth, in the fourth round where he looked like he was, uh, he was in command. He landed some good shots, but Alex's legs were never in trouble. Uh, the referee had his eye on him. If you look at the tape, uh, it's not like he's falling down. It's not like he's defenseless. He's punching back. Uh, but this is boxing. You get caught with a good shot. But I hope that those kind of fights are not uh, the norm for Alex because I, for any of my fighters. But also, though, the cut kind of made it look a little a little uh, uh, gory, the blood that from both guys. So right. maybe that's what people are thinking. It was uh, uh, that brutal. But it really wasn't that brutal if you look at the, uh, at the punch sets. And one more fighter. Uh, I believe before you come back to Vegas with Triple G, I believe you'll be in Russia with Murat Gassiev. Yes, who also works out at the summit in Big Bear. Uh, you know, he's a small underdog, and for hardcore fans, that's a very, very intriguing fight. That's a heck of a fight. We're fighting uh, Usyk, who is a gold medalist in the last Olympics. Yep. Uh, he's an exceptional fighter. Uh, he is uh, rated number one in that tournament. We were number two, and it happens that one and two are in the finals now. It's in Moscow, Russia, on the 21st of July. It's going to be a heck of a fight. Uh, I, I see it as a 50-50 fight, and the only difference for me would be that uh, Garcia's power may come into play. But uh, Usyk is, like I said, an exceptional fighter that's going to give us a hard time. It's, it's definitely the hardest fighter that we faced. I think that uh, of the Canelo-Golovkin fight, uh, the Saucedo-Hooker fight, which I have coming up in November, mm -hmm. I think I think this fight for me is the one that worries me the most. I think that this is the toughest fight we have. It's going to be a great fight. I hope we get it here on American TV, which we don't know yet. Let's not. You will be there. You don't need to watch it on no, TV, I but so. I do. I hope so because the, the, the their family, the kids in the gym, uh, in our gym, all those, all the people that are the friends of ours, all the people that support us uh, in Big Bear, uh, would love to see the fight. Uh, they're uh, even though they're from other countries, Big Bear has accepted them as their own. Uh, mm -hmm. They're. Uh, the Big Bear is very proud to have our, our kids there, and, and for the Big Bear to watch the fight and, and know that they're, they're coming out of Big Bear would be a, a, a great thrill, I think, for them. Abel Sanchez, I've been up to Big Bear, and my reaction was, uh, this man runs a mini United Nations. <laughs> so, so, so his nationality, yours, of course, is Mexican. We know that. But also, you go there, you will find Eastern Europeans, perhaps a Cuban, perhaps a Latin American fighter, uh, even uh, U.S. fighters. It is a mini United Nations, and it seems like everybody gets along real good. You know what? They, they've come to understand that everybody's got a role. Everybody has a career. They don't, they're don't. they not competing against each other. They're brothers because they, they eat together. They cook for themselves. They all cook different foods for that from their original countries uh, we go out together to eat we uh, go off the mountain to the fights together I have a fight on the 8th of August uh, and I have two kids fighting that night and at six of the guys from the gym will come to the fight and support them so yeah it's like a brotherhood because there's no competition amongst them because one career doesn't matter for the next will GGG be going to Russia or would that interrupt his training I think that would interrupt he wants to go but I think he's going to send his brother in, in his place, uh, Max, uh, Max Golovkin. Uh, uh, it would be in the middle of his training, and I don't think it's a good idea. Abel, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Ready?